I think it's magical. People in my classes are constantly fascinated. I'm like, okay, we're gonna take this giant bowl of cabbage and we're gonna fit it in this little jar. And they're like, you're insane. That massaging and that tactileness of fermentation um, and the magic of it creating its own brine, like that's, I mean, that's part of the joy for me. Starting the meetup, you know, it was something that like we wanted and it wasn't out there. Um, so we wanted to, to make it happen. The main thing for me and the thing that I try and get across in all my preservation classes is that it's so easy. It's so easy to get started and then there are all those layers. You can do something really simple and then you can just keep going mm -hmm. um, and get like nerdier and nerdy, you know, like deeper and deeper into the um, fascinating parts of it. Sometimes, um, I find this with cooking because I'm a professional chef too, sometimes I get caught up in the rules. And so when, when people who are quote unquote amateurs come in and try something that I'm like, oh, that's not gonna work, and then it does work, it helps me question those assumptions that I've gathered along the way. Um, and it's really great for inspiration. The health benefits, the cultural heritage, preservation. I started my company with the mission of basically bringing more fermented foods to the East Coast when I started in 2010. Um, and this is just right in line with that.